This episode is brought to you by Oracle. AI may be important, but it needs a lot of processing speed, and that gets expensive fast. Upgrade to the next generation of the cloud, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI. OCI is the single platform for your infrastructure, database, application development, and AI needs. Do more and spend less, like Uber, 8x8, and Databricks Mosaic. Take a free test drive at oracle.com slash enhance. Hello and welcome to Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. I'm Becky Parker Geist and I'm your host. Audiobook Connection is your place to learn about the audiobook creative process and for authors to learn valuable tips on producing and marketing your audiobooks. This podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to take a peek behind the curtain of audiobook royalties. And what you see there might surprise you if you are not familiar with the audiobook world and the retail platforms that are out there and what your options are that are related to the distribution and sales. So let's dive in. Let me start off by letting you know how I gathered this information. This is very recent. I wanted to check in and find out what's currently happening. So to preface this, when we work with clients and are in that distribution process, we use a digital distributor who then takes the audio files and all the metadata, the cover image, and disseminates it, spreads it out to over 50 channels. And these channels include libraries. And I think that is in itself a really valuable thing to do. I'm a big fan of broad distribution, being available in all the places where your audiobook listeners may be looking. We have different loyalties, different places where we're hunting for audiobooks. And so I think that is is really important. And not or not, but and I think it is also incredibly important to know where to send your audiobook listeners, your fans and followers, your community, where to send them for your best benefit. And your best benefit is then in turn best for your listener. Here's why. Most of us who have any consciousness around how the world works, how capitalism works, when we purchase something, where we purchase it from actually makes a difference. We kind of vote with our pocketbook. We vote with our dollars or whatever your currency is. And the way that what I mean by that is a a real easy example to illustrate this, is if you go to buy a watermelon and you go to the Target store, the big chain store, you might actually even get it for a little less there and compare that and how much the farmer is actually going to receive from that purchase, how much the farmer will receive for doing their invaluable work as a farmer. Now, I don't know the numbers on that realm, but we're going to get into the numbers on the audiobook realm. Compare, though, that purchase to the purchase if you go to the farmer's market, where the farmer has actually brought his truckload of watermelons and put them out on his table. He's paid his fee to have his table at the farmer's market, and the amount of profit that he or she will receive from the sale of each watermelon, I think it's pretty obvious that it would naturally must be and is much higher or they wouldn't do it, (laughs) right? It's a lot more work, but the sale, they're going to earn so much more from each watermelon sale. And when you've got a truckload of watermelons, that can add up to a big difference for them. That's why they do it. 
Okay, so now let's take a look at the audiobook world and what's happening in that realm. We want to be in the main stores, the big stores as well. And with a digital product, such as an audiobook, that doesn't cost us any more just to put it also in those other places for all the people who aren't going to show up at the farmer's market, right? But for those people who are looking in a specific place, then they will find your audiobook. Okay. So we want that broad distribution, and that's what we encourage and are typically carrying out for our clients as we finish up audiobook production and then are moving into that distribution piece, we want it out into the widest channels. But we also, or I should say, and we also want to give the author a platform that is going to give them control and where they can direct their traffic. So all of our marketing, whether it's a static website, hopefully not too static, but whether it's a, just a website or whether it's social media postings or email newsletters or appearances on podcasts as an interviewee or television appearances, whatever it is, whether it's book launches when you're showing up locally to let people know about your book and your audiobook, all of these marketing activities, you're going to be directing people as to where to get the product, the book, the audiobook. Now, if you're at a book launch, of course, they're going to have the books right there, especially if it's at a bookstore, or you will have some there in that kind of a local physical scenario. But most of the time, what we're doing is we're out there on the internet or in other these other channels where what we're doing is we're saying, hey, my audiobook is available and it's available here in this place. Please buy it here. Okay. In those cases, we want to direct people to the place it's going to work best for us. And again, when it works best for us, it's also going to be best for your customers because most people actually do care about supporting the creators if they're given an option, if they even understand. Now, many don't understand the difference of purchasing a book, an audiobook on Audible versus purchasing it from Amplify Audiobooks. But that's where a little tiny bit of education can go a long way. The wording on how you share what it is, where it is that you want them to purchase your audiobook. So you want to have a place like that where you know that you're going to get a good result. You're going to know who purchased your audiobook. You're going to be able to reconnect with them. All of these kinds of values are really important. And so we want to make sure that we're including all of that. Frustrated by the royalty rates for your audiobook? Annoyed that when the digital distributors say 70%, they actually mean 70% of 50% or 80% of 70%, neither of which is an actual 70%. Wishing there was a way to cut out or at least shrink the middleman. Yet, you want your audiobook listeners to have a smooth and positive experience and a direct download sale from your website won't deliver that. Pro Audio Voices hears you. Out of our commitment to our author clients, we've created Amplify, a program that provides an actual 65% royalties of the price you set, that gives you access to your customers' names and emails so you can reconnect with them, and keeps you in the driver's seat. Check it out at ProAudioVoices.com in the marketing menu. Okay, now let's take a look at some numbers. This is, I know, what you've been waiting for. Okay, we are going to talk about, and this is the information that I gathered. I reached out to Authors Republic and asked them for an audiobook that sells for $14.95, what would the payout be in royalties to the author? 
Okay, first of all, why did I choose $14.95? Well, that is a really typical subscription credit rate on audiobook platforms. They vary a little bit. Some are $12.95, but they're pretty similar. And on Audible, while you can have a rate, a subscription where you get more per month and then it's less per credit, those are all, there are a lot of variables, but $14.95, a typical cost for a subscriber to get your audiobook. I should also say one other thing about this, and that is that there's a going to be a difference in the royalty rate between the subscribers and what they pay on their subscription plan in terms of what you get paid versus if if someone, if a member buys it a la carte or if someone who is not a member buys it a la carte as a one-off, they're not a subscriber, they just buy it one-off or they get it outside of their in, in addition to their regular subscription plan. So I'm going to go through those numbers as well, as, as much as I was provided from Authors Republic. A book, $14.95, sells on Audible, a la carte, you'll get $2.62. Now that's going to be less if they're using the, their subscriber credit, and it will be as little as zero if they give it away for free as a teaser to become a subscriber. They do that. That's why when you go onto Amazon and you see your audiobook there and it says it costs zero, that's because they're trying to entice subscribers to come pay them on a monthly basis. And even though they get paid for that first month when someone subscribes, if they have given them your audiobook for free, they do not pay you for that. Okay, I'm going to stop on Audible. Let's go on to audiobooks.com. If they are members, then you will receive $4.19. So that's way better. That's good. Uh, if they purchase it a la carte as a separate purchase, then you will receive $5.23. If we go to Libro FM which is a great audiobook channel and they do and they do support independent bookstores which is great that's good but what you receive we're just talking about royalties now what you receive as for a sale through one of their subscriptions $2.62 that's the same as audible if someone buys it a la carte $5.23 on Spotify, their formula is not quite as clear, but a sale is stated as $5.23 with a streaming pool based on monthly receipts. So they have a whole other model that can impact that price. Barnes & Noble, if someone buys it on their subscription, you will receive $3.01. And if they buy it as an a la carte, you will get $4.70. And now, compare that to what you would get on Amplify Audiobooks. Drum roll, please. $9.72. $9.72. Compare that to sending your people, your, your customers, to Audible, where you might earn as much as $2.62. Or even at the higher end for some of these a la carte purchases, $5.23. That's the highest that I was given in this list. Compare that to $9.72. That's a huge difference for each audiobook. Keep in mind that's for each sale. Now you start to add that up. Let's say you sell 100 audiobooks. That difference is several hundred dollars. <laughs> we'll just say that. Several hundred dollars over the course of or the amount of just 100 audiobooks. The point being that you should be aware as an author who has an audiobook what kind of rate you will be getting in terms of royalties so that intelligently edu have an educated way of proceeding and where you're going to point people to when you're doing your marketing. 
you naturally, of course, want to direct them to your Amplify audiobooks page. And not only that, not only are you earning much higher royalties, but you also have complete control over the pricing, which you don't have any control anywhere else. Any of those other platforms, best you can do is make a suggestion and hope. But with Amplify Audiobooks, you choose the price. You can adjust the price at any time. You can set a promotional price, do discount codes. And here's the big one. You will actually know who purchased your audiobook. You will have a way to reach out to them. And you should. It builds community. You have the opportunity to do that. That's the inside scoop on audiobook royalties. Please let me know if you have questions. You can reach me if you just go to the proaudiovoices.com website or the amplifyaudiobooks.com website. You'll find contact information there. You can schedule a call, email us, whatever works for you. We're here to try and support authors, creators, narrators to really make this audiobook world the best that it can be. Why? Because stories make a difference. Every story that we put out into the world in whatever way, and audiobooks right now is a really big way to do that. We're changing people's lives. We're changing the kinds of things that they're thinking about. We're expanding their horizons. We're entertaining them. We're giving them relief from the challenges of their day. We're giving them new insights. We are making a difference. We're making the world a better place. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. And I hope that you'll join us in the Amplify Audiobooks movement. It's more than just about royalties. It's about having a just and equitable audiobook world. The industry right now is not equitable at all. And it's not too hard. That's our intention. We want a more just and equitable world where the creators are rewarded fairly, compensated appropriately for the amazing work that they have done. It takes years. It takes a tremendous amount of energy and focus and a lot of financial resources to be able to get to that place where you not only have a book published, awesome, success, but you also have an audiobook out there ready to help change the world, to change people's lives for the better. Again, join us in the Amplify Audiobooks movement, and thank you so much for being with me on this podcast. Please hit subscribe and join us on a regular basis. Thanks again. Thanks for joining us for Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams please take a moment to subscribe at audiobookconnection.com. The podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Learn more at proaudiovoices.com. Again, thanks for being with us and please join us next week. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.